Hi everyone, my name is Jane. Welcome to my channel, Loopy Mabel's Closet. So today's vlog is another sewing make. This blouse that I'm wearing, which is the Rochester blouse by Maven Patterns. So if you stay tuned, I shall share all the details with you very soon. <music> back everyone and before I continue if you just found my channel and you like to follow along with all the sewing projects all the patterns and the styling that I do then please hit that subscribe button and the little bell and then you'll never miss out any of my vlogs and then you can follow along with me so as I said in the intro this is the Rochester blouse by Maven Patterns gosh where has the Rochester blouse been all my life? Oh, I love it, absolutely love it. Now I say that with everything I make lately, so I suppose that's good, but oh, what a pretty understated blouse this is. Obviously the fabric does help, and the fabric is this gorgeous printed floral viscose that I got from the lovely Laura from Material Girl Laura. She sells some amazing fabrics. Now, I'm not sure whether she still has this one on her website but she ha always has a beautiful selection so I'll pop her link in the box below and please feel free to go and see what she has. She really does have some beautiful fabrics. So this was another blouse that I planned to make way back February March in my sewing makes plan vlog back then got put on the pile and never got made so because I have got a self-imposed fabric ban still going strong she says still going strong so obviously I haven't bought any more fabrics and I'm going to plow my way through the fabrics that I've got and this is the second one in the pile the first one was the raglan top by Friday Pattern Company which I did a vlog on I'll pop the link for that up there and this is the second one, the Rochester Blouse by Maven Patterns. Now, if you follow me, if you followed my channel for a while, you, you probably know that I do love Maven Patterns. I just love her designs, the very understated, very elegant, just gorgeous silhouettes and really simple to follow too. She has amazing instructions. She has tutorials, online tutorials at certain points throughout the pattern that might be a little bit technical or they may be a little bit hard for you to follow from a, like from the written pattern. So she puts the links and you just click on the link and it takes you straight over to that tutorial. Absolutely brilliant, really is good. I've never struggled with any of Maven patterns and this is no exception. I absolutely love I love the neckline. I mean, if you follow me as well, you'll know I love a ruffle, I love a gather, I love high necklines, and this just ticks the box. Typical of me though, when I was making it, I was in sewing heaven as, as you do, as you know, probably that you're probably the same, and sewing along and just quickly glance across to the instructions and got to the neck and use a gathered neck and you can either do a gathered neck with like the ruffle part at the top or you can do the gathered neck without the ruffle part of the top. So you just do your casing um, depending on which way you want to do it. So I just thought, well, I'll do it with a little ruffle bit at the top. Stitches my casing, two rows of casing. Well, no, it's not gathered all the way around the neck. It's just gathered from shoulder to shoulder at the front and it's completely flat at the back. So I had to unpick that, typical of me, whizzing through the pattern and not reading the instructions. I really must slow down and like I, I am trying to kind of read the instructions beforehand, sit, have a cup of coffee and read through the instructions. But for the last few patterns, I haven't printed them off. I've just gone off the screen because I'm trying to save paper and ink because it's not cheap, is it? So I haven't actually printed them off. So I can sit and have a cup of coffee and read them as I would normally. So I either sit and have a cup of coffee and read them off the screen beforehand or print them off and then read through them. So I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it. So I, obviously for this one, I didn't print the instructions off, just went off the screen. So I had to unpick that section, but apart from that, it was fine. And all you do is really clever, this gathered neckline. All you do is you do decide whether you want the elastic to sit at the top of the neck or a little bit of a gather like I have. And you just stitch from the shoulder, this shoulder seam all the way around to that shoulder seam. Then obviously, depending if you're going to go for the little ruffle, you set, sit, stitch another um, 
one and a half centimeters further down so you've got like a casing and then you thread your elastic through and you make a mark on either end of your elastic with a pencil or a erasable pen and then when you get to the mark you pin your elastic at the beginning of that opening at the beginning of that opening then the other side with the elastic you pin the mark there and then you stitch kind of in the ditch to stitch the elastic down then trim off the excess super simple and it just does this gentle gather oh, I just I mean how clever is that it's just a casing in the neckline so you could really incorporate this in other simple necklines if you wanted to and lovely sleeves I love the sleeves simple set in sleeves I love doing a set in sleeve all you do is you just pin the life out of it so you pin at all the various notches and then you've got to ease the rest of the sleeve in and you just literally pin 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 and like magic somehow that extra ease just seems to disappear as you pin it in and then you obviously just stitch it in so really simple set in sleeves so if you've never done set in sleeves before and it's you, you're a little bit wary of it seriously as long as you put loads of pins in it you can't fall off if you don't put enough pins in you will have the excess fabric and there's no you will probably won't be able to get rid of that and you probably will end up with gathers and tucks and things but if you literally pin all the way around it somehow disappears so have a go if you've never done set in sleeves really like these sleeves I did a size 12 <clears throat> just based off the body measurements and it really just fits lovely and I also like the hem I'll stand up I'll also pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden and me posing in the garden as I do and um it's just a really simple elegant blouse there is a dress version but I'll stand up and show you the hem on my version first so it's like a curved hem with a side slit and it's obviously high low hem lower at the back and it's just like face got the facing and all you do is stitch your facing to you mark like a, a dot and you stitch your facing to the dot then you pivot your needle and then carry on round so it's nothing technical it looks technical but it's not at all and just a lovely shape blouse there's no darts in it or anything like that love the sleeve lengths and as I say I absolutely love this gathered elastic neck so I had to share it with you because I knew you'd love it I absolutely love it and you know sometimes it's not a pattern that everybody is aware of I've had this pattern for quite some time because I think I've got every one I think there's only one I don't have of the Mervyn patterns I can't quite remember which one it is it's one of the dresses with it's the dress with the Peter Pan collar can't remember the name of it but I'll pop it in the box I'll pop it in on the screen I've got all Mervyn patterns and I just love them all and I can't believe I haven't made this any sooner and I say this is everything I make but I seriously have to make some more of these I just love it just pops on over your head it's like a a woven kind of t-shirt you know just pop on over your head but just love that neckline so pretty but as I say it is also a, um, a dress so there is the I printed off the first two pages so that is the dress version and it comes obviously with the belt but I'm thinking because I'm not a great dress wearer well in fact I don't wear dresses but you could lengthen the top to create sort of like a tunic length and then, then add the belt so there's the line drawings there so obviously I went for the top which doesn't have the belt obviously because it's not long enough but you could literally make it longer and then add the belt so you've got like a tunic length which might be really nice so as I say it says intermediate skill level I would think the only technical part of it to be for inter intermediate is adding the facing on the hem but it's not technical you just take your time if you mark all your notches and mark all your dots and you, if you follow her instructions Mrs M she's called follow her instructions stitch to the dot pivot or whatever it tells you to do you can't it, this, seriously you can't fall off you just can't go wrong at all and just take your time so I would say have a go you don't have to be intermediate I would say have a go if you're a beginner 
as I say, there's no darts, there's no zips, there's no fastenings, there's nothing at all. It's just two sleeves. As I say, make sure you pin, 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 pin to get your sleeves in, but nothing technical there. And you make your little casing at the, at the neckline. There's nothing technical there because it's just a row of stitching and thread your elastic through. So there's nothing technical there. The only, as I say, is just the facing on the hem. And another good thing about Maven Patterns, her notches always match up meticulously, always. You know, sometimes you do a pattern and the notches are sometimes don't quite match up. They're a little bit out, which, which is fine. You can get away with that. But Maven Patterns notches are just spot on every single time. And I've never had a problem with any of her patterns. And I, honestly, I seriously cannot believe I haven't made this any sooner. I just think it's a great top also for the autumn and the winter because I could quite easily get a long sleeve top on underneath here, no problem. So great for layering as well. And there's not too much fabric of it that you could actually wear it maybe underneath. Pinafore, dungarees, you know, there, there isn't an awful lot to tuck in. Could be worth trying, but I think it would be lovely in maybe a plain fabric. And, oh, I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. I mean, this fabric is gorgeous. And I like this fabric too, because it's got all colours in that I can mix and match with. It's got the mustard. It's got that gorgeous jadey green, cerise pink. I've got something that is coming that is cerise pink, which would go lovely with this top. Stay tuned for that. It's also got this gorgeous stone biscuit background. It's got splashes of white. So, and so it's got like a duck egg. So, mmm, duck egg. I've got some nice duck egg linen, which might go nice with that. So, it could be a good all round blouse, this that I've made. I do like, I, I think that's one of another reasons why I like to go for floral fabrics. Because if you know me, I, I do like a floral fabric. Call me Floral Jane. Um, but it's because, not just because it's flowery, because I do love the florals, but you, you get obviously always normally get lots of different colours with your florals and all those colours you can pick out, you can mix and match, you can coordinate, you can accessorise. So it's not just the fact that it's floral fabric, it's the fact that I can mix and match and layer and wear it with lots of different things, which is what I want to do with my wardrobe. And oh, I just love it. And of course, I'm going to have to skippity skip down the path and show my mum. Um, she's going to want to see. She's going to really like this one, I'm sure. She liked my other one. She loved the colour of the other one. So, all in all, absolutely great, all round, pretty blouse. What more can I say? And I wish I'd made it earlier. And if you've never heard of the Rochester blouse by Maven Patterns, I shall put the link in the box below, as I always do. I always put the links for everything that I chat about where I can in the box below. And please go ahead and go and have a look at all her patterns because they are amazing. So, hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've made this top before or if you've never heard of it. I hope I've enlightened you. And maybe it's something that you might have a try at. But it's so simple, elegant, understated and elegant. That's what I like about it. And I just love that neck. Just so different. And I love a ruffle. So that's it for today's vlog. Hope I've inspired you to get your sewing machines out and maybe have a go at some sewing if you're sat watching me and you don't do any sewing or you keep putting it off or you think, oh, I couldn't possibly make that. Yes, you possibly can. You just try and take your time. And if you ever want to ask me anything about any of the patterns that I've made and you're thinking of making them and maybe you get stuck or you're a bit struggling, just message me. You can either DM me over on Instagram, Loopy Mabel's Closet, message me there. Or you can also message me here on my channel and I'll try and help you if I can. So don't be deterred if you fancy having a go have a go and there's not just me out there there's lots of other people that will be able to help you and of course if you do a maven's pattern mrs m is great she is really helpful and all her instructions are really thorough and i'm sure you would find it really simple to do so i hope i've inspired you so that's it for today's vlog and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along with me i would love it if you did oh and can i just say thank you to all my lovely followers or my viewers who have bought me coffees that's so so very thoughtful and so lovely when um, I get a notification that somebody bought me a virtual coffee it really does make my day and thank you so much and can I just say that you're all really lovely I love all reading all your comments and if I don't get back to you straight away I'm not ignoring you I will get back to you eventually 
but all your comments are so lovely and thank you so much. Uh, but until the next time, please take care and as I always say, practice and happy sewing. <laughs>